there, welcome back to the Dutch FC channel, thank you for watching. And as you can see, I have a plane out today, and you haven't seen this on my channel before. It is a Hype a Trojan, uh, modeled after, uh, primarily uh, used by the US Air Force uh, as a trainer. Um, I'm not sure if other Air Forces around the world use this plane as a trainer. Uh, doesn't really matter, of course. Um, it is a 82-83 centimeter wingspan, small size uh, plane. Uh, it's not a micro, let's call it a mini plane. Right? Well, if you don't agree with me, uh, post me up uh, a comment below. Uh, but, um, uh, well, let's see, it doesn't have any lights. It does have ailerons, elevator, of course, and a rudder. And it has uh, landing wheels, three of them. The front one is steered by the uh, rudder channel, of course. They aren't retractable, though, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, uh, it runs on a three-cell LiPo, and it is a 1000 milliampere one. Um, I'm using a Zippy, as you can see, see and I have a uh, Futaba fast, uh, uh, well, not a genuine one, but uh, a fast receiver in it. Uh, it has a, what, let's see, 20 amp, 20 amp, huh. 20 amp Hobbywing ESC, 20 amp, that's, yeah, it's a small plane, should be enough. Um, well, that's it really. Of course, it's a, a brushless setup, of course, well, it is a brushless setup. And I haven't flown it before. I got this plane in a plane swap. It is a used plane. Uh, so, uh, well, let's see how she does. Switch on my Futaba transmitter. There we go. It's on the right model. Hook up the plane. Where is my GST connector? There it is. I've made a little adapter for it from GST to Deans. There we go. It's alive. Um, come on. Okay, the hatch is uh, held on uh, magnetically. Uh, let's see. Pre flight check. Aileron left, aileron right. Uh, looks like I have to do a little trimming. There. That looks all right. Elevator up, elevator down. Not a lot of throw. Okay. Rudder left, rudder right. Not a lot of throw either. Huh. Well, we'll see. Okay, let's see if we can get her to fly. Wish me luck. Who would? Needs more speed than I had expected. Oh, it's very touchy on the ailerons. Far more than I like. <laughs> and it seems tail heavy, which is weird. Yeah, I think it's mainly the tail heaviness that's uh, bugging me here. Okay, I'm trimming the elevator a little. Oh, this is a nasty flight. Okay, after a lot of trimming of the elevator, it seems to be flying all right. Um, sorry that I'm flying it a bit high up at the moment as the first minute of the flight was a bit hairy. Okay, I'm actually at the end of my trim range for the elevator now. Let's try and get her down a little lower. Uh, do I need to trim the ailerons? A little. Okay, so, um, uh, well, I think uh, I'll try to first uh, solve this mechanically by uh, uh, 
uh, altering the, the elevator uh, pitch. Because now that I've made these trims, it seems to be flying all right. Uh, it still is quite touchy on the ailerons. Uh, elevator, I would have liked more range actually, uh, which I can uh, alter mechanically as well. But I'll, uh, yeah, the ailerons can do with less throw, elevator more throw, and the rudder has hardly any authority like this, so that can do with a little more throw as well. Uh, the plane is uh, very uh, silent. Uh, you probably can't even hear it on video. So the motor, the motor is uh, running smoothly. Okay, I've put in a little more throttle. Yeah, rolls are adequately fast, of course. I'm still uh, giving uh, continuous uh, elevator down uh, input, uh, by the way. But no, no, okay, it's not nose heavy of, or, or tail heavy. It, it's just that the elevator isn't set up right. It's actually hard to get her down. Uh, also looks like it can do with a little uh, uh, aileron differential as it corkscrews on rolls. Okay, okay. Um, I have no idea what the flight time of this uh, plane uh, is supposed to be. Really no clue whatsoever. A uh, thousand milliampere 3S on a small plane like this uh, should be around seven minutes, I'd guess. Uh, shall we do a looping? Well, we can attempt at least a looping, a bit more speed. Here we go. Oops. Ah, yeah, um, uh, I, don't, I don't have enough range on the elevator to do a nice looping. Bleh. Okay, that really has to be altered. Okay, uh, well, let us try to land this small plane then. Uh, I have no idea how it lands. I'm a bit too high up at the moment. Yeah, I'll do another pass. Uh, the wind is coming from uh, my left, so I do have to land it from right to left. Visibility is actually uh, not bad at all. Okay. Yeah, now I really have a problem, of course, because it doesn't want to pitch them. No, too fast and too high. Another pass. Yeah, if I wouldn't be uh, shooting a video, I'd. Uh, uh, start my pa uh, landing passes at uh, the beginning of the flight. That's boring for you though. So I don't. Uh, still a bit high. Okay. Okay, too fast. But still not bad. It actually rolled nicely at high speed. 
Um, okay, uh, let's see how it taxis. Uh, not too fast, Mr. Dutch RC. Uh, the front steering is a bit touchy. Oops, a bit of off-roading. You see that turning radius is far too small. Okie dokie. Well, thank you very much for watching, of course. And uh, well, ob obviously, I'm glad it's still in one piece. <laughs> um, well, you tell me, do you like this plane? Do you want to see more of it? Uh, I will sure make some alterations to it, of course, before I fly it again. Uh, but, uh, well, uh, the main benefit of a plane like this, of course, is that it takes up so little room in your car. You can just toss it in and fly on your lunch break. That's a good thing. And it looks reasonable. This is actually my first non-tail dragger plane. And if you don't know what that is, uh, most planes I uh, fly have a tail wheel and no front wheel. Uh, those are called tail draggers. I'm sure you understand <laughs> uh, how, how that works, that word. Um, thanks, of course, for watching again. And if you're not subscribed yet, please do. Hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.